guys, it's your girl Lita Lewis. I'm here today at Air and Aerial Fitness in Los Angeles. I'll be taking Lindsay's class, Aerial Foundation, a beginner class for something that involves this here. Listen, I've never taken this class before. Something like this clearly intimidates me, who loves to eat and breathe weight training. All right, we'll see how I do. Okay, well, welcome. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm excited to have you here. I know you've never been on a Silcanic before, but totally fine. All my, almost all my clients have never been on a hammock before, okay. but now they love it. So. Okay, wonderful. Just takes practice, that's all. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's stand behind our hammock. We'll press our palms, fingertips together, and we're gonna press those wrists against the silk. And then from here, big bend into your knees, let your head go in between your biceps, and then just swing it out a couple of times. So this will be nice and relaxing for the lower back. Stretch out that spine. And just taking a couple swings here, left and right. The silk is definitely gonna get you deeper into stretches and postures than you normally would without it. From here, we're gonna place that silk right on your hip bones. We're gonna go for a little down dog, aerial down dog. So, pressing down in your silk, take a big inhale. On your exhale, we'll fold forward. We'll place those hands down on the back. Uh-huh. From here, we'll straddle up those legs really wide. Perfect. From here, bend into those knees and wrap those feet around the silk. Uh-huh, and then perfect. Good, how are we feeling upside down? I feel vulnerable. That's okay, that's but I normal. Feel good. I'm, I'm cool. here for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm still breathing. Good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. From here, pushing down through your palms, coming all the way back up to standing. So try to keep those shoulders away from those ears, and then try to keep a foot of distance between you and your silk. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Ah. Up, shake it out. Oh. That's it. Big exhale, big pull up. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So with Ariel, we're pulling our body weights. We gotta get you. She's a weight a lot. So pull myself up and tuck me. Uh huh. Just like a cannonball into a pool. Yeah. Right. So the double wrist wrap is to help support your hands, and then hold on tight so it shouldn't move. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good. Now you're gonna have to hold this for ten seconds. What? Ten. Now it's time for the trick, the fun part. Oh. So, we're gonna go to candlesticks. So, you'll give me that tuck jump again, you'll lean back, and then you'll shoot your toes all the way up to the ceiling. Ah. Yes, good! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> this is better than Six Flags, she's right. Yeah, you gotta split your legs. Split? Uh-huh, one leg in front, one leg behind. Oh, do yes. I wanna do that? Yes! Oh, <laughs> all right, as long as my boobs are now. <laughs> Please <laughs> and oh, okay. Yay. All right, so let's head upside down the more traditional way now. Oh, okay. so she's like more upside down. Yes. Free flying now. <laughs> the best parts of fun. <laughs> Good. Marie, you gotta get this picture. <laughs> I gotta show my mom. I hate being upside down, but this is Moms fun. Moms love going upside down. Moms are always wow. so <laughs> Oh, we're close. 
try to kick those legs out nice and wide. So we want to be here, and then oh, here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What? Wait. So put like arms up. Uh-huh. And then kick those legs up. out really wide. The wider you kick your legs, the easier it's actually going to be for the upper body. Okay, got you. Just so you know, just holding yourself up and standing is a workout. Um, totally. <laughs> All right, so let me... Oh, Lord. Okay, and then reach, and then... Conditioning is really worse than I thought. No, that's honestly like the great part about Ariel is we get people from all backgrounds, CrossFit, spinning, boot camp, bar, and like this is a challenge for everyone. Because it's definitely working a lot of sets of different muscles that you won't get from really any other. Yeah, workout. absolutely. I was about to say, I'm probably working muscles that I've not used in a really long time. <laughs> if ever. <laughs> Alright. Harder than I thought. I don't know, I envisioned a lot more like swinging and fun and fairy music or something. But this, is, <laughs> this has become a real workout. Definitely, I think, you know, people get the, the assumption that it's pretty, so like it's easy, but yeah. it's definitely, it takes a lot of time and effort for it to be like as graceful and as pretty as you want it to yes. be for sure. So <laughs> I, I concur 100%. <laughs> Stability for sure. For because sure. It's swing, right? As soon as you lift that leg up, your leg is gonna want to swing. So that's when you really gotta activate that core to keep it steady. Yeah. Okay. You gotta try on the other side too. All right. <laughs> yes. You got this. I got this. Stability. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> One more chance. Oh. class would end? This is how class would end, yeah. We kind of like to seal it up. Cool. Really cool. So cool. Thank you so much for having me. You're so welcome. You were a pleasure. Really? So fun. Don't get discouraged. Well, typically when anything that, um, that I'm unfamiliar with or something that I find a challenge or that I probably fear, it's just a, it's, my instinct just to go after it anyways. But I love it. I can totally see that in you. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to think, well, this is something that's unfamiliar, so I don't want to do it. So, But this has truly been surprisingly more difficult than I initially thought. Um, as you mentioned, you know, all the fun, pretty stuff that you may see about an aerial class like this um, is a complete lie, really. Because <laughs> it is super challenging. It's goals. It's goals. Yeah, but what I think is awesome, I'm trying to swing myself of it, um, is that, especially for someone like me that's typically in, in the weight room, um, not only do I feel like it's definitely strength, but I also feel like it's good elongating uh, for my muscles too, so it's kind of a nice balance. And definitely getting those nice stretching moments in there too, yeah. without you even noticing it. Yeah, oh no, I notice it. <laughs> right, some places more than others. <laughs> yeah, so, and you, and you also touched on something else that is something that I typically um, think about when I'm training clients is that, when we're working like smaller, more supporting muscles, um, 
it's you know a client will find it quite humbling especially when it's a lighter weight and I'm familiar with that kind of sensational or you know muscle contraction but definitely I felt like I'm not working the typical muscle that I would in a gym with weights or sure. weights so this is this has been really interesting. So fun. Yeah, really cool. Good. Well, thanks for stopping awesome. by. Swing it on in. I know, right? <laughs> you guys need to cocoon yourself in this. This is so much fun. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me. You're so me. welcome. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. <laughs> That's actually the best part. <laughs> Very cool. So fun. All right. So I just wrapped class with Lindsay here at Air Aerial Fitness. And let me tell you something. All right. Here I was thinking that this class here, with all this pretty silk, was gonna be fun, soft and gentle, but it actually was a lot of work. But not to be discouraged, for somebody like me as a beginner, I found it difficult, but still obtainable, right? It definitely increased my flexibility, and it's a whole lot of fun. And from this point onwards, thanks to Lindsay, I'm officially a silk sister.